Roller coasters are fun during the day, but at night, it's a whole nother ball game. As soon as you turn out the lights, I feel like roller coasters get more exciting. It's harder to see where you're going. You feel like you're going faster. When you have a ride that's set in a cool location, when it gets dark out, it goes from being like a great ride to just an absolutely insane experience. And today we're talking about the 10 best night rides that I have experienced. All of these are gonna be roller coasters that are located in the United States. And the one thing you're almost exclusively gonna see here is these are rides that are surrounded by little to no light, meaning they either go through the woods or they're located in the section of the park where you can't see the lights from the pathways. It was really tough to rank. Before we get in here, understand that I am not ranking how good the specific roller coaster is. I'm ranking the night ride experience. So let's kick things off with number 10, Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. And this is a ride that takes you through the Forbidden Forest. And almost every time you see the Forbidden Forest in the Harry Potter films, it's at night. And so when you're strapped on a Hagrid's motorbike, you turn on the headlights and you feel like you're going through the dark forest. It is totally awesome. And this is such a long ride too. You're so low to the ground. Like I said earlier, you just feel like you're going a lot faster and it is so cool. This is an incredible night ride. And if you're visiting Islands Adventure, especially for the first time, this is the best night ride in the park. For our number nine attraction, we have a bit of a wild card, and this is the only ride that is gonna make this list that is really like this. This is Hang Time at Knott's Berry Farm, and this makes the list because of all of the lights around it. This has a KCL light package, which these guys are absolutely incredible if you aren't familiar. They install a light surrounding the coaster and physically in the track that will track the vehicle as it's moving along. It's changing colors, it can dance to music, whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. And I think Hang Time is the best example of that. You can find this similar package on other rides such as Monster at Adventureland, but I think what they did with Hang Time specifically is just incredible. This is a must do at night purely because of how much cooler it is because of this. I would love to see this nighttime experience brought to other rides. But enough of all that brightness, let's go back to the dark. This is Time Traveler at Silver Dollar City. This ride is located on the outer edge of the park and you literally drop out of the station straight down and the entire layout takes place in essentially a valley. You're surrounded by trees. You can't see the rest of the park. It is so dark back there. It was way better of a night ride than I was expecting. You always hear about Outlaw Run at night, but tell you what, if you have the opportunity to do both in the dark, I highly recommend it. Our number seven night ride is probably the most famous out there. This is The Beast. This is the one that everyone talks about. Most of the time when you ask someone if they've ridden The Beast, the follow-up question is, okay, but did you do it at night? And that's because this is a legendary experience. The Beast is located all the way in the back of King's Island, and it's the longest wooden roller coaster in the world. World. It flies through the woods, way far away from the rest of the park. And even though the actual elements on this ride, for the most part, aren't too exciting, everything just feels crazier. It's not a new ride, it's not crazy modern, it's just an old wooden roller coaster that has so much personality. If you're gonna do any ride at night at Kings Island, this is definitely the one to do. For number six, we have one that I only recently experienced at night for the first time. This is Boulder Dash at Lake Compounds. And I was pretty psyched for this. Boulder Dash is like the beast in that it runs right up against the ground through the woods away from the rest of the park. And I feel like I should say get used to hearing that phrase because I'm going to be saying that for pretty much the rest of the rides on this list. Boulder Dash takes you up a mountain and then you hug the hillside all the way out and then you come back. And the first half is very reminiscent of like a ride at Holiday World, which don't worry, we're going to get to those. But it's definitely way better than I was expecting. I'd done Boulder Dash during the day, but at night it jumped up several spots for me. So now we're at our halfway point. This is Lightning Rod at Dollywood. This roller coaster is located at the front of the park you launch up a hill, and as soon as you crest over, everything goes dark. This entire back half of the ride kind of takes place between two hills, and you don't see a thing. It's absolutely insane, and this coaster carries so much speed. The only time you're going to see light again is when you start coming over the quad down. It's like you're riding back towards the park. You can look out and see all of the lights on the different pathways, but not for long because then you're immediately banking to the right into your turnaround, hitting the brake run. It will just leave you absolutely breathless. For our number four attraction, we have the first of our signature Holiday World wooden roller coasters, and this is Legend. And it was pretty difficult to rank the insanity level of experiencing these rides at night. 
because they're all crazy. Legend was a sleeper hit. You always hear about Voyage at night, but this one's dang good. Legend takes you out by Splash and Safari, turns you around, you come back, you do this crazy 540 degree helix. It's an insanely long ride, and when you're experiencing it at night, it feels even more out of control. Not to mention, it feels like it's running faster. It's unfortunate that there's not too many times a year when you're actually able to experience Legend at night. A lot of the times the park closes early, but if you do get a chance to experience this one at night, I highly recommend it. And be sure to also stop by Raven on your way over. This is our number three night ride. And pretty much everything I said about Legend, I can echo for Raven. Raven isn't as long of a roller coaster. It's located at the front of the park, but it goes out through the woods, passes over a lake. And when I say that you can't see the hand in front of your face, I mean it. Raven is so violent and out of control and it does not get talked about enough. And really, I'd recommend a Raven night ride just as much as Legend. I just give the slight edge to Raven at night purely because of the ending. You're just getting tossed around before you hit the brake run and it is wild. But for our number two spot, let's jump back over to Silver Dollar City. We talked about Time Traveler at night. Outlaw Run at night is still king. And this roller coaster is in a similar situation as the rides at Holiday World. There's only certain times a year when you're going to be able to do Outlaw Run at night. But man, are you just going to want to marathon this thing. And actually, most of the time you're able to. It doesn't typically get too long of a line. This is such a jam-packed, crazy roller coaster. As soon as you take away all light, you have no idea where you're going next. You just power through each individual element and so low to the ground, crazy ejector airtime, flipping you upside down. It is such a memorable experience that it would be my favorite night ride in the world if it weren't for the voyage at Holiday World. And for the most part, I think that this is a no-brainer. This is obviously the best night ride in the world. I don't even think anything else comes close, honestly, because Voyage has the insanity that all of these other rides do, but it's like three times as long. Well, except for the Beast. But this one's more insane than the Beast. Voyage is packed with airtime, twister sections, it goes goes out through the woods. I think someone joked one time and put up a POV of Voyage at Night and it was just a black screen. And all I'm saying is that's a pretty accurate representation of what it's like to ride Voyage at Night. You wouldn't be able to see the person sitting next to you. And when you have a layout like that, that is just so crazy and unpredictable and you don't realize where it's going next, mainly in that twister section there at the turnaround, it's so much to process that you just get off and you don't even know what happened. And that's what makes this the greatest night ride on the planet. But those are just the 10 that I picked. I love to hear from you. What are some of your favorites? Obviously, there were a couple that didn't make the cut here. One in particular I'll give a shout out to, Mystic Timbers. That's another one roller coaster at Kings Island. Not as good of a night ride as the Beast, but still really, really good. And also Monster at Adventureland. I know I mentioned it briefly, but because it has a similar light package to Hang Time, that's another really cool one to experience. But I think you'll notice that most of the rides that I picked here are wooden roller coasters. And I think that's just because for some reason, wooden roller coasters feel crazier in the dark, more so than steel coasters. There's just something about that experience that really makes it memorable. And I think that's why I have so much appreciation for them. But anyways, if you're new to the channel, I'd love you could subscribe. We do top tens, rankings, and reviews for roller coasters and theme parks all across the planet. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.